Okay, here we go. The Packers are back on the clock at 173 in the fifth round. And the 49ers took DeMondre Lenore, corner out of Oregon. And I, that was somebody that I liked. Bummer. Um, there's some corners available on the board if the Packers want to go and get some depth here. There's uh, his uh, teammate, uh, tr uh, Thomas Graham, is still available. I wouldn't mind if we get him. Right now, everybody on NFL Network is talking about the whole Aaron Rodgers drama and all that stuff. I'm not going to go into it for the sake of the NFL draft and having a good time with this. We'll worry about this whole dilemma once the draft is over with. And So I'm kind of hoping maybe the Packers can go defense here, get some depth guys to help out. A depth, uh, a depth nose tackle would make sense. And the Packers pick is in. So we're going to see who this is in just a minute. And Leroy Butler is going to announce it inside Lambeau Field. Oh, yes, it's TJ Slayton. Yes. Yeah. There's our nose tackle. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, Slayton may be able to play defensive end also. Who knows? Uh, uh, he's a really, really good, really good sized uh, lineman. Pretty tough. I, I This is a very good value for him. I love the pick. Let's go. All right, guys, here we go with uh, the Packers. Second pick in the fifth round. Leroy Butler is back to announce the pick. Hopefully we can go for Dylan Moses here. He's a linebacker. Pretty good player. Oh, okay, a corner. There we go. There we go. Awesome. Let's go. This is uh, probably a little early for Shamar, but hey, we got some depth at cornerbacks, so it's all good. It's all good. We have some cornerbacks going, uh, possibly going next year. We have uh, J Josh Jackson. He's set to be a free agent. Chandon Sullivan, Kevin King. So it's important that we lock down the cornerback group so that way we have depth and we have some guys that can compete for a spot. Jay Alexander got the fifth-year option, so I'm glad that he's going to be uh, a, a, a long-term fixture for the defense, being able to play the number one cornerback spot, and uh, there we go. Now we pair him with Eric Stokes and Jair in the future, so Shamar uh, uh, Jean Charles here. I like it. Let's go. This draft is going really well for the Packers. Two thumbs up. And I will catch you guys later for the sixth round and see who we pick there.